right? <rire> All right, so let's get the evening started. Et oui, pour lancer officiellement cette soirée, merci d'accueillir très chaleureusement. Please give a warm welcome to Disneyland Paris présidente Natasha Rafalski. being here. I am absolutely thrilled to have all of you here with us tonight to celebrate this very special event dedicated to all those who love Disneyland Paris and the incredible stories that we bring to life in such unique and innovative ways with the support of our talented cast members. energy in this room is amazing. I am so excited to be here and as Natasha mentioned this is the very first time that we have hosted a D23 event at Disneyland Paris and I want to acknowledge and thank the incredible teams and cast and everyone here at the wonderful theme park for their warm hospitality and for making this an incredible experience for all of us and I also want to thank All of you here in the audience are very special Disney fan community. We love what we do, and you are the reason why we do what we do. So thank you so much for being a part of our, of our family here. Now, yes, thank you, all of you. Disneyland Paris Portfolio Executive Producer from Walt Disney Imagineering Paris, Robin Reardon. Welcome. It's so exciting to spend the finale of our 30th anniversary with D23. So welcome all and ha happy to celebrate with you. So we may be 30 years old, but we are not going to sit around and do nothing. So we have a lot to share with you this evening about what you can expect in the, nat in the, in the next year. Like we noticed there were a few details missing on the knobs of Captain Nemo's organ in the salon. Did you know that the actual organ from the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea film is in the Haunted Mansion ballroom at Disneyland in California? So we actually called up our colleagues in California to make sure we got those details just right and we're excited to show them to you. So when our guests board the Nautilus, they will now experience the, under, the undersea wonders of the sea. Speaking of the happiest cruise on the earth, well, I guess we weren't speaking of it, but we are now. Um, it's a small world. It has been a guest favorite. It is the iconic, uh, iconic attraction of our park. The, the reminiscent sound that we all recognize of the clock. Well, when we realized, when we started to refurbish Small World, we realized that we really had to pay attention to every detail. So we, we dug out the books, we dug into the research, we researched the original, the original fabric, the original paint, we pulled out all the old artwork from the original designers, and to make sure that the refurbishment that we do when we reopen to guests this summer is going to be as spectacular as it was opening day. This really was a collaboration with our Disneyland Paris Central and Maintenance Workshops. This really happened in collaboration with them. We spent a great deal of time repainting all the faces of the dolls, repairing and restoring all of the props. It really was a collaborative effort with tons of expertise involved. We also modernized the lighting inside and out. We repainted the entire facade. In total, we refreshed about 300 dolls, including animal figures, animated props, and more than 100 toys. It wasn't a small task. There's going to be a new address in Worlds of Pixar. This has been a fun one. We work with Pixar artists to create a brand new location where Pixar pals from all over the studio will greet guests. We've even included Amber and Wade from the new Pixar film Elemental coming this summer. So be sure to stop by, it's going to be a great place to meet all of your favorite Pixar characters. 
So probably the biggest news at Walt Disney Studios is the work that's happening behind the palisades. And we, re we released earlier this year some of the early concept work for some of the beautiful gardens in LA. They're gonna be part of the expansion. But we're here to share tonight some, some more current behind the scenes because there is a lot of work going on behind those palisades. Frozen, Arendelle is going vertical. The lake, well the lake is a hole, but it's gonna be a lake. And so we have a little behind the scenes footage to share with you now. une aventure musicale extraordinaire qui nous attend à partir de cet été dans le parc Walt Disney Studios à Studio Theater. On est très impatients, il faudra encore un petit peu de patience à voir tous les éléments de ce spectacle, mais en tout cas on vous attend dès cet été à Studio Theater pour découvrir Together, tous ensemble. Un building, et from the outside, we are, you know, keeping the storytelling the same because it, it is deeply rooted within, obviously, Main Street USA storytelling. But when it comes up to this royal reinvention, everything's happening inside, and the, the hotel is actually being completely rebuilt. Uh, it's very, very exciting um, with this royal theme. And um, let us take you, you know, through, through, through our little journey in the hotel, starting with the lobby of the hotel. This is the starting point of our storytelling. The, the chandelier, if not, I like to call it a light sculpture because it exactly. really is a work of art made of crystal. Um, it really is the centerpiece of the lobby of the Disneyland Hotel. And um, it really is like it's going to come to life. It's very, very, very exciting. We cannot wait for you guys to see it. And as a little side note, you may notice that there's a little piece of art that's also changed on top of the fireplace. Obviously, we'd like to keep it a bit of a mystery and a surprise for when the hotel opens, um, but we are ever so mindful about the legacy we are building on, and uh, rest assured that the gorgeous existing piece by the artist Franck Armitage will actually find a new home somewhere at Disneyland Paris. It's a secret. It's another mystery. But rest assured that it's going to find a new home for it to be enjoyed for future generations. Imagine that the inside of Disneyland Hotel is a castle, and so we decided to um, every location could be associated, associated, associated pardon me, uh, with an actual location that would be in an existing castle, whether it is um, a grand ballroom, a reception hall, and, and to the lobbies. Um, in, the lobby will actually be transformed into this grand library. Uh, with all those books on display celebrating a lot of Disney stories because once again our main goal for Disneyland Hotel is to celebrate all those royal stories and obviously especially this year we, we are celebrating a hundred years of magic and a hundred years of stories so when it comes up to the stories we will be celebrating um, we had the choice between such an array of stories locations and characters. Yes, we will be celebrating, you know, the Disney princesses, but there's a lot of other royal characters and stories for us to play with, for everybody just to find um, and recognize their favorite characters and royal stories when they visit Disneyland Hotel. And, and, and to that respect, it really is a similar exercise, you know, picking the stories and the characters. It's very similar to, to what we've done for Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel. 
Absolutely, the art will be represented literally everywhere in Disneyland Hotel. And when it came up to um, also the inspiration that we had, we seek inspiration in real locations and real castles that exist from all over the world. So technically, Disneyland Hotel, it won't be like a Renaissance hotel. It won't be a medieval hotel. It will actually be this timeless space that will uh, border to honor, um, obviously, the, these iconic Disney Royal stories that we just talked about. We also, the Disneyland Hotel, will also unveil an amazing range of services and bars and spas and experiences. Yes, that's true. And all the part, it will be like this. In all the parts there will be experience in all the culture. And in you have new spaces and you have also the experience to meet with people and characters. It's so true. Obviously, since we are celebrating stories, you guys can imagine that these characters can actually step out of the storybooks and come and meet all the guests of Disneyland Hotel for the ultimate surprise encounters. It really, really is exciting. So, you were actually just talking about the bedrooms, and to your point, it's true that we're in a hotel, and it's true that what your hotel be without bedrooms, right? Do you know what? This is like this brings me back a couple of years ago. And when we first saw this piece, you know, jumping out of the drawing board, when we saw this very, you know, we, I think we took that picture on that day actually. And and I was just saying to Sylvie, I've got goosebumps, this is so pretty, and this is where we're like, we're doing the most amazing job. Um, you know, side notes aside, um, this mirror really, really represents and summarizes the direction that we are actually taking when it comes up to incorporating all these iconic royal stories within the hotel. Um, and we do this, you know, obviously in mirrors, we can do that in props, we can do that with statues, we can do that with um, pieces of art as well. Um, and, and you've seen the, the, the visual of the bedroom a couple of minutes ago, you know, with like two pieces of art above the bed. And so um, I'm happy to say to you guys that we will be celebrating up to 11 classic stories within those bedrooms. So depending on the bedroom where you're going to stay, you're going to have um, potentially the opportunity to have classic stories, including Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, and Tiana, here she is from Princess and the Frog. Very, very excited about that, but brace yourselves. Um, so, uh, we also will be representing Moana and the artwork that we have for Moana is truly gorgeous. She's sailing away to a new adventure with her friends Pua and Hei Hei and uh, Maui will be there uh, as well with the spirit of Grandma Tala. Uh, it really, really, you know, is all about inspiring once again, you know, um, people just to dream and, and go for adventures and just be yourselves. And last but not least for tonight, we, I, I think we've got the first to announce. Do you know who this is? Absolutely. Raya and the Last Dragon will also be represented in the hotel. And tonight we are so, so, so delighted to reveal to you the first artwork that has been exclusively created in collaboration with Walt Disney Animation Studios and that will be in the bedrooms. Dun, 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 dun. That's not it, it is! <laughs> And as you can see, we've got two pieces of art that tell a story. And this one, I think so far, it's one of my favorite visuals because this is all about the power of friendship and the connection that these characters have between each other and the power to be yourselves. And, and that's truly, truly magical. And when it comes up to, to dreaming and, and designing these experiences, we like to design them as what well, we have in mind that you know a hotel room is, it kind of is the home away from home and you know it's the best place to relax after you know the best day ever at Disneyland Paris so you can relax recharge and and just let it go thank you thank you one person got it over there thank you um, we cannot wait for you guys to discover Disneyland Hotel upon its reopening and Disneyland Hotel, if, if we had to summarize it within a couple of words, 
It is this amazing journey through time, through culture, and that celebrates Disney's most iconic royal stories. Thank you so much. Nous avons hâte de vous accueillir dans ce futur château. Merci beaucoup à tous. Merci, merci, Lucie. Thank you, Thomas.